Hello again and um, welcome. This is a special video um, because it's my 100th video. Yes, my uh, 100th video on YouTube. So I'm really pleased about that. And as you can see, I'm fairly good spirits. Um, this is not a lockdown video, although we're still in kind of lockdown. Although if you can interpret the rules, you know how much you can and cannot do. Um, but as you will see, I'm now back in my workshop. Haven't been here for ages, and all my well, I've been here, but not made a video about it. And um, I'm just uh, enjoying the day up here. It's quite cold today, but everything is working. Everything is switched on. Uh, I've got my my tape stuff is working up here, which is great, and my trio amplifier, my decks, uh, my Akai um, reel to reel, uh, and on the bench behind me here, I've still got the Bush uh, uh, TR90. And uh, that is still, uh, oh, sorry, TO90, what am I talking about? I've still got the Bush DAC90, um, which I'm still recapping um, and haven't finished yet. But um, I haven't had many jobs to do. Uh, not many things, I've not been going to the little um, repair shop that I sometimes go to to get, to get equipment. So none of that has happened. And uh, nothing much has been here ready to do, actually. Um, although I was talking at the at the uh, regulated distance to a neighbour, and he said, "Oh, during the lockdown we've been turning out, and I found a tape recorder. I have no idea what it is. Would you like it?" Well, if anyone says to me, "Would I like a tape recorder? Would I like a radio?" My answer is always yes, yes, yes. So he said, "Well, I can't bring it in your house. I'll leave it outside uh, your your back door." Anyway, I forgot all about it. Um, for 24 hours, well not 24 hours, I forgot all about it for a while and then there was a phone call to say it's outside and I went outside and I was delighted. He, uh, the, the message said it's yours, do what you want with it, I don't know if it's working or not. So that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So let's have a look at this uh, gem that I've been given. And this is what I found. It's the Tamburg high-end tape deck. Uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, in not very good condition. And uh, this is just as I found it. Um, it's a three-motor uh, crosshead. That means it's got an extra head to, to improve um, the high-frequency response. And it has, uh, as I said, three motors. Um, and it weighs an absolute ton. I don't know the exact weight of it. It was made in the middle of the 1970s, so that puts it at about 25 years old. And uh, as you can see, it's, um, it came with one, one disc, um, but, uh, and some of the knobs are missing from it. Um, it's quite dirty, as you can see, um, but, uh, and, um, but it's there. I mean, the knobs are missing there, um, two VU meters, um, and I really don't know if it works or not. Uh, not tried it, that's just as I received it. All I've done is put it onto my workbench. So the next part of this video, my hundredth video, is going to have a little look at this machine. Uh, we're going to do some safety checks, and then I'm going to plug it in and see exactly what happens. So let's get on with that. Okay, I've done the uh, basic safety checks on it um, and all seems well. Obviously there's no amplifier or speakers in this, it's just a deck. So I plugged in a set of uh, fairly ancient headphones to see what's going on. Um, and I'm going to now turn it on for the first time in goodness knows how many years. So here we go. Wow! It's on, it's running, and I'm, I'm going to press play. You, you can see I've managed to procure a, um, a tape, a um, seven inch tape. So how do we play? Just press play, I suppose. 
not to be expected, nothing happens. At all. Um, maybe I've got things set up wrong, I don't really know. There's no lights on these at all. Um, so, the wind does Oh, the wind works. But play absolutely nothing. Let me try the. Let me stop it again. Try the tape. See if it works on a different speed. No. No. So, um, it does wind beautifully. It doesn't rewind and it doesn't play. Um, so there it is. Uh, let me just have a listen in the headphones. Yes, there is there is audio, not audio, but there is a hiss on the headphones, which would indicate that um, that the the, the uh, AF uh, side is working to some extent, um, and uh, so that's it. Let's just try one more time. Play. It clicks. but it doesn't play. So there we go. Um, that's the Tamburg. Um, not not working as to be expected. Not playing but the, it is um, it does have an output on the headphones and uh, the next job is now is to um, actually strip it down and uh, have a look at the mechanism. So that will be the next part of this video. Well there's the uh, top cover removed and um, uh, that wasn't too difficult, a number of screws which were hidden but that was okay. So first of all let's have a look at the, the head mechanism um, which is here. And there we can see um, the heads and we've got um, one to three heads and uh, an array head there as well. Um, so it's quite a neat, well constructed piece of piece of equipment there. Um, so now we're going to power it up again and see what actually happens when we go into the play mode. So I'm going to stick some tapes on and we'll we'll go back to that. Okay there's the tape threaded turning it on and we have a little pilot light coming on there. Um, let's go the fast forward uh, and see what happens there. Okay, stop. Now we'll go to play. And absolutely nothing happens. The tapes go slack. Stop. And I can see now um, what's happening that the uh, um, the pinch roller mechanism um, in the head side of things is just not engaging. It's not going in. So the pinch roller is not actually pulling the tape forward. So I'm going to have to investigate that. Um, and I think it might just be a simple case of a little bit of lubrication. Uh, but that seems to be the reason. The motor itself is working absolutely fine. So let's have a look at that. 
Okay, we're back. Um, stripped it down, had a look, and the source, uh, uh, the reason why it wasn't playing, um, the heads, th this movement on this hit, this uh, the pinch ruler, it wasn't engaging. It was sticking, a little bit of stiction, so a, a little bit of um, uh, um, lubricant on that, and we got a playing mode now, and it, it does actually play. Um, I'll hold it to this, it's very poor quality, but I'll hold it to the mic. So, it is playing. Um, stop. Fast forward. Um, uh, wind. And it winds beautifully. Very fast. Stop. Very good brakes on it. And play. Now, this tape um, appeared outside my door together uh, a bit later than the recorder and, and it appears to be full of Irish music, so... The controls are even quite quiet. Um, well, that's the input side, so that doesn't make any difference. Um, we haven't tried it on record yet, obviously. A few squeaks with it, but... Uh, nothing very, uh, nothing very much. All that can be overcome, but everything seems to be working very well. So, um, it's, I'm quite optimistic about this. Well, here we go, and uh, I've cleaned it up a wee bit, put a touch of, um, of uh, lubricant on, uh, on some of the mechanisms, um, cleaned the pinch roller, and uh, just tidied it up a little bit. Still got more to do, but it is working. The music, however, is fairly unidentifiable, um, apart from it being Irish, and uh, lots of jigs and laments and various other things. Um, but. Uh, I'll, it, the tape came with a, a whole list of tunes on it, which uh, I don't really recognise, but um, anyway, there we go. But it is working, a nice machine, and uh, now I've got it reminds me to clean it up properly and um, put it all back together again. I've then got to source some uh, knobs, um, which may be a wee bit difficult, uh, although I'm sure uh, if I had a 3D printer, um, I could I could print them, um, but uh, they're they're a little bit complicated. So I su I'm going to try online and see whether I can get the knobs um, for it. Uh, I'll clean the thing up generally, and apart from that, I think it's all working absolutely fine. So thank you for watching my hundredth video. I'll come back to you when I've got it all back together again with something else. Um, but for now, I think uh, we can just uh, fade out on um, on this music. So thank you for watching and uh, talk to you again um, in a minute. Okay, well, let me turn it right down. Okay, well, thank you for watching um, this uh, 100th vi vid video, and thank you very much to the kind gentleman who left this beautiful uh, Tamburg um, machine, uh, Series 9000X, three motors, and um, uh, lots of other goodies on it. Uh, on my doorstep, and, and including this this tape, of course. Um, but uh, I think I've, apart from putting it all back together um, and uh, showing it to you in, as a finished item, I think I've probably come to the end of this video. Um, it's it's taken up a, a good bit of my day, um, uh, but that uh, in lockdown is not a bad thing, is it? So thank you for watching, and um, if you like it, please give it a like. Um, and uh, I will get back to you again soon. Got to find some more tape and order some bits for it if I can. These knobs here need replacing, and the whole thing needs a general clean up. But thank you for watching, 
and as always, take care. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Okay, see you soon.